Hello, in this class we will discuss about that how to open up a log file and how to analyze a log file. So today we will open up a log file, like we, I will close the previous one and now we will start with the open log file. So we have some recorded log files, now we have to do the analysis of those log files. So I am selecting one log file. So it is like this is the duration and this is the start time and the end time. Like this is of around 15 minutes log file. Today we are going to analyze this. That this is the latitude and this is the longitude of it. So we require, first of all we require to open up a map window. So we have to go to the positioning and the map. So here is a map. Now we require to position it. So we have some xyles and sites. After that, again open up a map. Now we cause we require to add on a vector. So we have major road and the highways. So we are selecting that also. Now here, which is in a pink color, it is showing me that I have added something here in India. Now we require to zoom it. Now here we are, this is our area, we will maximize it. Now we require to log file, require to fast forward it so that we can see. Now here we have a loaded log file, now we have to zoom it whatever we have recorded. So this is our log file scenario. Like we have started from one point and we have ended at one point. Now this is our scenario in which we can see the handovers and parameter values. Now in this legend that we can say that on an EQ1 like this is the power parameters Red color will show me that minus 40 to minus 100. Then the good color is from minus 85 to minus 15 with the green color. So we have a green color, then yellow, then red. So we can see that in some areas we don't have any good values with the symbol. Low, so we can see that Rx level which is with minus 120. So this is the representation like in the information elements we have discussed that According to the colors, we can easily analyze it. Now let's open up the next windows. Like I will minimize it and place it at one position. So I will open up a next windows at that time what is happening. So in LT, we will see that what are the radio parameters there. So after radio parameters, we require to monitor like serving cell and a neighbor cell. So serving cell and a neighbor cell. Next, we will open up line chart scenario. So, this is the scenario of our log file. Like, uh, my mode is work is mode system is LT and the duplex mode here at that point in this log file is FDD. Transmission mode 3, we are working and open is special multiplexing is the scheme. Modulation is of QPSK with rank indicator 2 and this is the transmission power of the uplink synchronous uplink shared channel and the uplink control channel as PUSCH and PUCCH. Next in LT serving and the neighbor cell like we can see the serving cell and the neighbor with this ERFC and the cell identity with their group IDs and with the cell as a 0, 1, 2 group IDs as SSS and PSS with their RSRP and RSRQ values. Like we can see that why there is a handover because RSRP and RSRQ values is fluctuating at that point. So I will cross it. Now let's
so I will maximize it. So this is my log file scenario which I have recorded. So this like we can see the current scenario like where we have a handover and where we don't have like this is a serving cell this graph is of serving cell you can see with the red color now next we can see that this is a rssi that means rssi of the serving cell with the lightish pink color this rssi value minus 81.94 now here at this point minus 71.75 so this will show me the rssi value where increases so we can monitor that here at some point my rssi value is more why we have handover at this point because my serving cell intensity becomes very less and rssi also increases like we can see the red color it goes on decreasing 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 and then here at this point it is become very much less similar with different colors of the different neighbors now here again it become very less so handover 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 we have initiated it now again it started then again the scenario goes like this so like on a 5 megahertz we are having a 25 resource block at that point and we are using band number 3 as a 1800 band so we can see that what is the scenario of a serving cell rsrp and rsrq values here at so if we require to monitor in a log file that what are the RSSI values and RSRK and RS, RSRP and RSRQ values. So we can monitor easily with the help of this. So this is a log file in which we require to check out the handovers at this point. What are the scenarios for this when we are moving from this cell to another cell. Then from another cell where are the drops, where are the handover failures. Now we have a continuous mobility we don't see any handover failure if we have handover failure hand and on cross on it that shows you that there is a handover failure now let's monitor next like we have gsm cell also there wcdma and gsm let's monitor out the signaling scenario of that so this is a serving cell rsrp value as minus 93.13 now here at this point value with the code now we can see that there is a change now we can see when there is a handover we can see here cell identity or a scrambly code like here is the handover so here is a change in the value that means we have demanded for a handover and then we have granted with the handover so we have changed our identity similar happens with this 251 to 42 211 cell reselection is over there in 138 so there is a why there is a continuous handover problems because now here we have latched to the gsm cell with the blue color like here another cell we can so see the rx level which is this one as a er or urfcn which is gsm arfcn so we have latched on it then again with LTE cell. So we can monitor at that time that whenever we have started, like we have started around 1220, we have ended at 1224. So what is the transmission power of the UE red color? We can see serving cell identity. So this is a graph like serving cell because we have WCDMA also and we have that gsm cell also so we can monitor the parameters of each and every so after that we can have analysis about the missing neighbors so here do not have any defined neighbors so that's why it is showing us a missing neighbors next let's have here three messages so these are my layer three messages we can view that whenever we have started what are the layer three messages system information block three which is transmitting me the information related to handovers and the neighbors we can see the measurement reports at 1224 measurement reports with radio resource control protocol which is given to the network 
then we have reconfiguration so we have rrc reconfiguration whenever we change and change a system or a e node we or a cell so then again block then the reconfiguration request then we have measurement report so these are the various signaling we can view in a layer 3 that what is going on and whenever there is a measurement report and whenever we have tracking area update request in emm at 12:23 we have ta u request because maybe we have changed the tracking area then we have request after that information transfer downlink information transfer tracking area update accept and complete then we have uplink information transfer then again measurement report and it keeps starting so this is the layer 3 message we can view the messages that what exactly is going on in the network with these messages next for this an analysis window we can view the layer 2 messages also so it is loading because we have recorded a log file so each and every message is being deleted. like we have shown that this arrow will show you that there is an interfrequency reselection then we have cell reselection interfrequency reselection mac which is there in the layer 2 so we have mac then we can say cell reselection from ut ran because we have initiated a circuit switch call then location area update routing area update so these are the messages which are there in the layer 2 so we can view that what is there in layer 2 and what is happening next in the signaling we can view the data reports no recorded data reports then we have we can view the error reports whatever we have recorded we can view it and then we can analyze it like we have log record message gmm message so these are some error reports which we record in our network so we can find out the errors next we have call events so these are like we have initiated circuit switch call attempt then blocked call call attempt and block called this is for eut ran circuit for before callback could not be initiated because we have initiated a circuit switch call so it is not initiated so that's why it is here message we have like this then we have tracking area update during circuit switch fallback request so we have blocked call so we can view that why we have a blocked call at that point because of these errors IP protocol reports we can view so we can view as per we have recorded we are generating some data reports so we can see the IP reports quality measurement reports So these are. So now we have discussed that in log file, but much important that whenever we have to analyze a record or a log file, we don't have to attach to the network. So whenever it's sitting idle, like we don't require any equipment connected to it, we just open up the previous log file and then we start analyzing it. So this is overview that how do we analyze a log file. We will continue with this in our next class. Thank you so much.